Hey guys, it's Robert. I have here the Low Pro 250 Hatchback Series 2 All Weather Bag, and I thought I'd give you a review and impressions in the perspective of a Sony shooter. So I just picked up this bag off of Amazon. If you're looking to find a day pack kind of camera bag that you can take with you um, in the outdoors as well as in the city, I find this to be a really great option, um, but there are some drawbacks, and if you are especially an APS-C shooter uh, in the Sony world, uh, you might want to pay close attention to the storage options for the camera compartment. Um, this bag comes in blue as well as black. Um, the bag uh, in Generation 1 used to have branding along the sides, um, but it's really nice that they kind of limited the branding to two locations. They have um, their logo up on the top as well as on the shoulder pad here through a clip area that you can see. Um, if you're primarily looking at this bag to kind of take out into the outdoors with you, um, in the top compartment right here, which is normally used for laptops and tablets. You can take something like the Camel Pack bladder and it'll fit in here and route through the clip area that they have in the bag. Um, I've used it once or twice already for that um, and have had no issues. Uh, this compartment right here is separate or separate it from where your camera's stored so you don't have to worry too much about leaks. The bag also has two water bottle holders on each side. On the back of the bag is where we find the all weather cover on the bottom. The second compartment I currently have the Peak Design field pouch in there, so I can switch between this bag and a sling that I use a lot, carry my strap. If you do get the 250 version of this bag, it can hold the Mi Photo Backpack Travel Tripod, uh, which is really handy. Um, if you want it to, you can stick one of the legs and have it go towards the bottom. Um, I've also put a rubber band around at the bottom on the reflective part to hold the travel tripod in place. There's also two elastic areas. I carry two loom cubes with me. Um, and there's also a little divided section with a key ring attachment. Um, you can hold some accessories in there. This bottom part can be removed um, and it will give you access to the bottom compartment where the camera bag is um, and you can turn this bag into a standard backpack that way. This bag also has a chest strap as well as waist strap. Um, the waist strap uh, will not transfer any loads to your hips. Um, it's not that robust. It's really just to hold the bag in place. The chest strap, however, is really good at keeping uh, the pads um, in place uh, and from moving around. If you are uh, a person who uses the Peak Design capture clips, they do fit on here. Um, it's a little bit tight to get them on, and I find they're really best served right above the chest, chest strap. Um, down here on the bottom, it gets pretty thin, and there's a little bit of a ridge here, which makes it harder to attach the clip. The pads are very um, comfortable. I've worn this bag for about five hours at a time uh, some days. The only issue I have with the padding on the bag is this bottom compartment. It's not very well ventilated. Um, it's not uncomfortable, but if you're in warm weather, uh, your back could sweat. Uh, so if that's an issue for you, Peak Design does make the flip side version or their flip side line of bag, uh, which has a little bit better ventilation. So we get into the main part where the actual 
camera is being stored. Um, I would have liked to have seen that the zipper is a weather sealed one to kind of prevent any sweat or or rain from coming in on like really bad downpours. But it is nice that they do have this kind of retractable part right here to kind of also shield your gear. Um, I did find that this was a really nice added uh, piece to the bag. Uh, I do a lot of shooting around the beach and in some pretty sandy environments. And I did find that if I had to change out lenses, it was a lot easier for me to kind of keep any dust out of my sensor. Um, you can also fold this, this part back and the insert itself has these little, little straps on the side. And you can totally remove the camera protection from the bag. So I have in here the Sony A6300 with 18 to 105. Sony A6000 with 50 millimeter 1.8 and the 10 to 18 millimeter. Um, this is one of two configurations I use on the bag. Um, you can see that if I was to switch the 18 to 105 out for the 10 to 18, um, it would be pretty hard for me to store this lens and be able to put the camera in there. Um, one of the biggest drawbacks of this bag is there's only Velcro on certain parts of the bag, which you can see. So it really limits where you can put these little dividers. And they give you two of these smaller dividers and also two of these larger ones with some Velcro on the side. And if you were a user that only had one body uh, that you brought around, I think that you wouldn't run into this issue. I do carry two bodies with me because like I said, I shoot a lot around the beach and in sandy environments and I don't want to have to change out lenses as much. And it's also very convenient that if I'm shooting an event, I don't have to uh, fuss and change out lenses as much. Um, so that being said, if you if you only had one body and a few lenses, I think that this Velcroing option or this Vel Velcroing issue would not be a problem as much for you. But for someone like me, um, it is a little bit of a pain to work around. Um, if you are using like the 6000 and some of these smaller lenses, they can fit uh, face down like this with no issue. Um, something like the 6300 with the 18 to 105, you can't really put it down. It does stick out um, a little bit too much. Even with this lens, um, you can't really set it down like that. Um, it will end up kind of pushing through the back and kind of jabbing you in the back. So if you do have this 18 to 105, you will have to lay it down. Um, and even then, uh, because it is a lot smaller, the lens will rock back and forth inside the bag. Um, it is nice that you can take out this insert and just carry this if you want it to and cinch it closed. But I would like to have seen uh, them use some coral plast on the side or corrugated plastic to kind of make this bat, this soft part a little bit more rigid. Um, when you do put water bottles on the side of the bag, uh, they can push in and kind of deform uh, your, your setup in here and push your gear around. And for most people that might not be an issue, but because of the lack of Velcroing options, it, it can shift things around and, and just be a pain uh, to work with. Um, 
Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. I have a few more bag videos coming out. Um, and hopefully you enjoy.